Hello makers, welcome 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and today is the second episode of a Noob's 3D printing guide. Stick around. Welcome back makers. So in the first episode I introduced the series and I also introduced the Profab Mini Plus 3D printer which is right here next to me. We've assembled it and switched it on. So I think it's time for us to explain exactly the attributes of a 3D printer and also the menu of this particular printer itself. Now while a 3D printer may look overwhelming and complicated, for us it's a relatively simple concept. You have a main board, which are the brains of the 3D printer. You have the three axes that control the movement. You have an extruder, which pushes filament through. And you also have a hot end, which then melts the plastic and starts laying it down as you print. Now the X, Y, and Z axes are what control the movement of the printer. So if we go on move, press the button, we can see that we have the X axes, Y axes, and Z axes. The E axis is the actual extruder. So the X axis controls the left and right movement of the print head. The Y axis controls the backwards and forward motion. And the Z axis controls the print head movement. The extruder is what controls the movement of the filament that goes through. Every printer has pretty much the same basic controls. And one very important control is the home button. This aligns the print head towards a homing position. So if you press on it, it moves the X right to the side, the Y right to the back, and the Z straight down to the build plate. Once it stops, you can simply exit. Next up is the monitoring function. Now this menu will show you the extruder temperature and that is the temperature where the hot end extrudes plastic from. It also gives you the temperature of the platform which is the heat bed right here. We already said that this has a heated build plate and we have a start preheat option. And what that does is preheats the hot end and the build plate so you can push some filament through before you start printing. Now finally we have the print menu and just for me to show you what the print menu is for we're going to grab the micro SD that game with the printer. We're going to insert it on the side where there is the micro SD slot and we're going to click on print. Now this will show you everything that is on the SD card but we'll get to that at a later stage. Next up, we are going to load some filament in the printer. Now you will come across many, many types of different filaments for 3D printer. However, for someone who's just starting out, PLA is the best way to go. Now this is a spool of Profab 3D PLA in red. Now with most spools, you will find information on the box. It tells you what color the filament is, the brand, also the size. It's very important because this printer uses 1.75 millimeter filament, whereas you get some printers who use 2.85 or 3 millimeter filament. You also get the weight and very, very importantly, you get some information on printing the filament. Now in this case, it tells you it needs a printing temperature of 210 degrees and a printing speed of between 20 to 50 millimeters a second. Once you open the spool, you will also have this sheet right here. Now this has a lot of information, it gives you some instructions. It also gives you the right temperature, the recommended, the minimum, the fan speed, also the heat bed temperature. Having this kind of information at hand comes in very, very useful. Next, we have the spool of filaments. Profab 3D offer these resealable bags. So all you do, is open it and you take out the filament. Once done, put the filament back in and seal it up. It's very important to keep all filaments in a cool, dry place so you can extend their lifetime um, because moisture is not always a good friend of theirs. Once the spool is out, you take out the filament and if you see any areas which are bent like this, we're gonna cut them off. Now it's it's ideal to get yourself a pair of flush cutters like this and always cut the filament 
at a 45 degree angle. We are then going to place the spool on the spool holder. We are then going to straighten out the filament a bit so it doesn't have that curve into it. I'm gonna press on the extruder and just guide the filament all the way until it stops. We are then going to the move menu and we're gonna move the heater upwards. Just so when it pushes filament out, it doesn't straight away stick on the build plate. Once that is done, we're gonna to go to exit, gonna to go to monitor, and we will start preheating. Target temperature is 190 for the extruder and 50 degrees for the heat bed. Once the extruder has reached the target temperature, gonna exit, we're gonna to go to move, and we're going to go on the extruder option. And what we're going to do is we're gonna push some filament through. We're going to keep on turning until we see the red filament come out. The reason why there is black filament is because this unit was tested at the factory. Once the red starts coming out clean, then it's done. Get yourself a pair of tweezers and simply pull the filament out. That is it for me today guys. Join me next time where I will show you how to level the bed and we'll also print something. In the meantime, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, happy making, guys.